Let's bring in expert analysis from one of the best Fox News contributors and writers all around, columnist with The Hill, Liz Peek. Great to see you, Liz. Thank you. Glad to be here. That's a lot of jobs. Yeah, it is. And that's, of course, why Obama and everybody else wanted to save General Motors and save Ford during the financial crisis. It wasn't just those jobs that were at peril. The entire industry and all their suppliers and the people who live in those communities, everybody was in jeopardy. But, you know, the, one good thing to think about as compared to that era, right now, there are a million more jobs available than there are workers to, to fill them. It is such an ebullient jobs market, even in manufacturing skills. There are lots of people That's out there. That's a great point. And there are a lot of manufacturing jobs. We've added 300,000 jobs over the la in manufacturing over the last two years. So this is, I, I am really unhappy, as President Trump is, about what General Motors is doing, particularly because it was really their problem. I mean, they basically guessed wrong on the kinds of cars that Americans are going to want. Everybody bought into the idea that oil prices were never coming down right. again. It just never happens. Oil prices right. go up and down. I mean, I can sign an affidavit if it would make any difference, yeah, but guess what? I know. You wonder <laughs> That's why how they, it happens. You wonder why they can't build factories that could be retooled when oil prices go up and down. Well, I, so. th I think they're overstocked in general. We just yeah. really are not seeing a big growing auto market. Yeah, there's, so. a, there's a flattening with That's China exactly and U.S. Right. sales. But you know what's really interesting is now we have Ohio, Ohio Congressman Tim, Tim Ryan visibly upset. He is basically shooting an arrow across the bow saying Washington doesn't care about middle America. He's saying venture capital, the coastal elites only care about their neck of the woods, about California and New York. But he's saying that Washington is continuing to ignore the Midwest. He doesn't say Trump is. He's saying D.C. Well, I think that's what elected President Trump yeah. is that basically people were ignoring the, the Rust Belt. It's called the Rust Belt for a reason. It was on many years in decline. We lost millions of jobs and no one said a word. To China. I mean, well, it, to elsewhere. China, to Mexico, mm -hmm. all over the place. And so hostility towards these trade agreements, hostility towards other people taking our jobs, it's not new and it is not misbegotten. I mean, it, it, there is a reason why this has all happened. Now, look, Trump has actually set the stage for a revival in manufacturing in this, in this country. And there are many reasons to think that we are competitive. We have low energy costs and energy through, through the, our lifetimes is not going to change. That's a big change, for example, or difference between us and, for example, Germany. Germany doesn't have that because of their, mm -hmm. I think, incredibly stupid energy policies. But we have energy. We have uh, the major consumer market still in the world here. It's not China. We are still a bigger consumer market. We have English-speaking labor. We have all kinds of advantages. So. The pessimism of the Obama years was, I think, totally wrong. I think we can do this. And by the way, some of these European automakers are talking about expanding here. And I think given proper incentives and so forth, they will do that. You know, the president is having the foreign car makers here yeah. next week. To your point about President Obama, he said, how is President Trump going to do that? Magic, magic wand. wand. I know. It was such a I mean, snooty kind of comment. But he didn't know anything about private industry. He had never been involved in it. None of his advisors had he ever been in manufacturing. About, he was, President Obama was talking about manufacturing think tanks and institutes. Yeah, way that's, it, right? that's about right, you, which is a very different kind of <laughs> situation. Look, that's like the teacher's faculty lounge answer. To that's exactly jobs. right. If you lower taxes so that we're competitive, and we were not historically, we had the highest uh, tax rate uh, for our corporations of all the developed countries, and you basically get back some of this environmental yeah. regulation mainly, uh, you know what? You can compete here. And I think that's the big takeaway. Liz Peek, love having you on. And read Liz Peek's column. She's a terrific writer with great analysis. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Liz Peek. Have a good Thank weekend. You. you too.